What's up everybody, Unknown Flexing here. In this video, we're going to be checking out the high grade RCX 7602 gun cannon first type. He is part of the Iron Cavalry Squadron fighting on behalf of the Federation. He is featured in Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin, and if you recall that scene correctly, they got absolutely annihilated by the Zakus. This guy comes with a lot of cool stuff. He has a lot of weapon systems. On his right shoulder, he comes with a Gatling gun. On the left shoulder, he comes with interchangeable weapon systems for either a cannon or a missile pod. He also comes with an assault rifle. In his head are cool little Vulcan cannons. This guy also comes with his own stand, something that I wish that a lot of high kids would also provide as well. He also comes with decals and a very, very interesting hand design. So without further ado, Let's check out the high grade RCX 76 gun cannon first type. And coming up first here are the weapon systems. As I said, you have Gatling gun mounted on his right shoulder. It's pretty cool. Comes in like two pieces. And on the right side, you have interchangeable cannon or a missile pod type weapon. And let me tell you, this missile pod looks really, really cool. I love the way the tip looks. Right there, you could actually see the individual missile pods. And to me, for something like a high grade, that is, that is really articulate. Here is his cannon, which is like one of my favorites. It could go up and down, but unfortunately, it cannot twist left and right. And in order to interchangeable with this and the missile pod, you actually have to pull it up like this, and that's how it's extended. And what I like about this gun cannon is this little mechanism right here. I thought it was a pretty cool, it's like hydraulics. A little attention to detail like that is pretty cool. And if you wanted to put in his missiles, you could just slide it into the hole right there with this end, and you could just push it in. Now sometimes, it may be at a weird angle sometimes, but to push it all the way in, but once it's good, you don't have to worry about it. And there it is. Just like the gun cannon, this thing can go up and down. Unfortunately, he doesn't really twist it left and right, so it's just up and down. And on top of his head are a pair of Vulcan cannons, right there and right there. Of course, we have that typical neon sticker in the front. And what I like about his head design is, for whatever reason, it reminds me of the anime mechs uh, in Pat Labor. They just look pretty cool to me, especially with like, the little antennas. Here we have his visor, which is a transparent green. Right there. And unfortunately, due to the blockage of the weapon systems on his left and right, he really can't twist his head left or right because they are obstructed. If we look at his machine gun, or assault rifle, excuse me, here it is. It's very simple. Reminds me of the like off counter trick. Right there. And how it fits into his hands. First off, it'll go to his hands right here, and we'll go over the hands. The hands are pretty much like a tri paramantis looking thingy, but really it's it's just three fingers uh, molded into one. And here is the machine gun. You could tell that they have little indentions next to the handle on the left and right. And here is his hand, quote unquote. It's basically three little cute finger claws, but where the indention is right there, that's where it would go into his hands. So you have to take out his fingers, or in this case, I just sort of slide it in there, just break it apart a little, and it fits in like this. And in order to adjust, uh, sort of like laying the rifle on his uh, arm, it would fit into a slot like this, and this is where his arm would go, and it would rest like that. So it is pretty secure, it's a very interesting method, but uh, it works, and it could go on either hand. Hand. This is his hands for a close look, it's basically two pieces. You have the bottom two claws, 
you have the little notch right there for the weapon and then you just close it up like this so he has what we like to call gaming claws and on the opposite end we have his shield which is also interchangeable to either hand as well so I'm going to try to take this guy off right there the shield is interesting here we have the handlebar and here we have the resting mount for its hands and this is the front with the decals this is a very small shield and it's like only two pieces like that. and now looking at his body we have two vent systems in the front very simple and in the back we have his backpack I guess we could say it only has a single vent right here but it is pretty big compared to the rest of his body pretty much just makes like his backside all the way to his front chest pretty thick he does boast some articulation or movement quote unquote uh, when we bend him down like this he is sort of able to bend down at the abdominals much better because it is like a two piece or a two joint his shoulders also boast a little bit of extension right here you can see that PC part coming out all the way which gives him a very good range of motion or just a very good posing opportunity his shoulders are round his arms are pretty simplistic for both sides nothing too special here we have his skirts and they are mobile at the front and at the side you notice nothing is mounted and then at the back you also notice that nothing is mounted and speaking of this is where in typical high grades you might be able to find a place to put his uh, his close range weapon but this guy is a pretty much a gun cannon mm, offspring something inspired by the gun cannon so he really does not have any close range weapon systems such as a saber maybe the Vulcan cannons yes but no sabers looking at his legs they're pretty thick we have decals on one side like this and how his top leg is fit into his joints it's something like this it's just a pillar piece and you put it in there which is pretty cool because that way you're able to twist and turn it all the way around if you're interested this is the decal piece right here it's EFSF Earth Federation Space Force RCX-76 and in the show I believe there are only 12 models even though they all got destroyed looking at his feet one of the cool things the side of the box boasts about is how far his ankles could pretty much go right there so his toes are able to go pretty high and his heels are pretty low which could make him like bend like this or even peer down which sort of makes sense because this weapon system right here he sort of needs to kneel down if there's like a close range weapon or if there's a close range target right there well, that's pretty much it for the RCX 76 this is a really really cool model there are a lot of opportunities to panel line despite that the colors of this guy is pretty dark blue so you might not be able to see it I think this design is simple it has a lot of cool weapon systems I really really enjoy the missile pods and the Gatling gun on his right one thing I did mess up when I built him was uh, for whatever reason I thought it'd be a good idea to panel line the top of his head the top of his chrome dome right here and that just looks a little funny where I should have done a bunch of stripe down the middle and ignored everything else that was just an experiment and I also like the fact that this model does come with its own stance for a forward pose here or an upward pose here I wish more high grade models offered that opportunity but anyways that's all I have to say about the gun cannon first type this is a high grade it's pretty cool it's one of my best favorite ones from the origin from the Gundam the origin if you have any questions or comments please post them down in the section below as always I appreciate you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video take care of yourselves peace out <laughs>